hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a to the power of 4 plus 9 is equals to 0 and we solve this problem for all the values of a so here we need to find all the roots of this equation uh, so for this uh, we just use the completing square technique to solve this problem uh, so here you know about that this is a to the power of 4 plus 9 and we rewrite this equation as this is a to the power of 4 and it will be written as a square and its whole square plus we write this 9 as 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here uh, we know about that uh, we have the nice algebraic formula if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b so if we compare um, this algebraic formula to this term you see here this is our a square term this is our b square term and we we have missing uh, this term that is 2 times of a and b so in order to make this term we uh, need to just uh, add because here our a is the base of this term th that is a square and this is our b uh, so we need uh, to adding on both of the sides or add or subtract okay we just add and uh, subtract uh, two times of a and b so here our a is a square and our b is three so we add or subtract this term into the left hand side uh, so uh, after adding and subtracting this term our above equation is written as now first we have a square and its whole square plus 3 square and plus we write this term 2 times of a square into 3 and we again subtract this value and it will becomes minus 2 times of a square into 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further we need to focus on the first three terms and you see here this is a square plus b square plus two times of a b so when we complete the square of this we will get here in this form a plus b whole square so after completing the square of these terms it will be written as a plus three and its whole square minus here we have this is uh, two times this is two times of three becomes six times of a square and this whole equation is equals to zero so further in the next step we need to write this equation into the complete square form so for this we write it as a plus three whole square minus we write this term as square root of six times of a and its whole square and this whole equation is equals to zero so here we use this nice formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this formula we write here our above equation as first you have a minus b so it will becomes a plus 3 minus square root of 6 times of a into a plus b that is a plus 3 times uh, a plus 3 and plus square root of 6 times of a and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases. Uh, so the first case is we will write. Uh, sorry here we have little mistake here our this is a square okay it will become a square plus 3 whole square this is also a square plus 3 whole square and we get a square plus 3 and this is also a square plus 3 okay. Uh, so uh, here we divide this into the two cases the first case is we write a square minus square root of 6 a and plus 3 is equals to 0 and the second case is a square plus square root of 6 times of a and plus 3 is equals to 0 so we call this is our equation number one and this is our equation number two so we need to solve these two equations uh, simultaneously for the values of a so here we use the quadratic formula to solve these equations uh, so first uh, we uh, write or uh, we apply quadratic formula in equation number one so in equation number one we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to one capital b is equals to minus square root of six and capital c is equals to three 
and we state the quadratic formula as a is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and here we substitute the values of a b and c and it will be written as a is equals to this is minus b and the value of b is minus times square root of 6 so when you put it here it will become plus square root of 6 and plus minus square root of b square so you see here the square of minus sign become positive and the square of square root of 6 becomes 6 only minus 4 times of a and c the value of a is 1 and c is 3 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 so further we need more simplifications and it will be written as square root of 6 plus minus now here we have 4 times 3 becomes 12 and 6 minus 12 becomes minus square root of 6 and it is divided by 2. So here we know about that when negative sign appears inside the square root sign it will become iota so it will be written as square root of 6 plus square root of 6 times of iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the first two complex values uh, of given equation which we get from equation number one and now here we again solve uh, our equation number two so that from equation number two we have we need to copy down equation number two here it is a square plus square root of six times of a plus three is equals to zero and here we again apply the quadratic formula on this the equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and we have a is equals to 1 capital b is equals to square root of 6 and c is equals to plus 3 and we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a these are the uh, quadratic formula and here we substitute the values of a b and c here so it will become a is equals to minus b the value of b is as minus square root of 6 plus minus square root of b square so b is square root of 6 and uh, this will be written as 6 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 3 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 so we have this is minus square root of 6 plus minus square root of this is 4 times 3 becomes 12 and 6 minus 12 becomes here minus 6 divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So we have a is equals to minus square root of 6 plus minus. Here we know about that when negative sign appear inside the square root it will become iota and we will become here square root of 6 times of iota divided by 2. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. Uh, so finally we will get here there are four roots of the given equation. So these are the first two roots and we have uh, square root of 6 plus minus square root of 6 iota and it is divided by 2 so these are the total four roots of the given equation and this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos